What's up guys, welcome to the channel. So today's video, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna showcase three Dojin shooters. Now these are three shooters that I found recently. All three of these are pretty good. Anyway, let's jump right into the first one here. You're watching the footage. It is called Rumble Storm. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it in the Japanese, you know, word, but Rumble Storm. Uh, there is an international all ages edition because this is a Dojin Hente shooter. So there's a lot of nudity. Um, I have seen footage from the unedited version, which is kind of crazy. You know, look up Rumblefish Dojin PC Shooter. You can find it online. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, the studio that developed this game is Studio S. Um, I don't know of many games they've developed, but they did develop another game. It's like an action game called Dystopian Hurrah. Anyway, okay. This game's kind of a mix of like Bullet Soul, if you guys have ever played Bullet Soul or the infamous Bullet Soul Infinite Burst on the 360 in like a cave game. So it kind of mixes some of that retro 16-bit art style into the game, which I love. I mean, I'm almost 40 years old, you know, I'm into that stuff. So before I go any further, if you got young kids in the room, you might want to cover their ears because the stuff I'm going to talk about is pretty crazy. So, okay, just a quick rundown of this game. And this is right off a of DL Sites website because they actually gave a description of this game. But due to attacks by mechanical creatures that suddenly emerged, humanity is now on the edge of extinction. Now, in the state of an art fighter named XTX, which converts the pilot's intense emotion at the time of orgasm into some kind of energy. Now, the pilot rushes to the core of the enemy force. Now, this game includes, and this is where it gets kind of crazy, okay, electrocution stun gun vagina, excessive orgasm nipple clitoris expansion, Double penetration directly stimulating the nervous system associated with pleasure. I don't know why they would have that in the description of the video game, but it's out there. If you do look at the unedited version of this game online, it kind of makes sense if you read that description and watch the video. But I mean, overall, this is a really good shooter, and I'm extremely happy to hear that there is an all ages edition that it, you know, it shows like anime boobs and stuff like that, but they are covered which is good because I would want to share this to like, you know, my woman or my kid. I would have, I wouldn't want like the crazy hentai edition and not be able to share this game with anybody because this is a really good shooter. Um, there actually is a, like a demo out there you can download, you can try it out for the all ages edition or if you're a creeper, you can download the hentai edition, but hey, I downloaded the hentai edition just because I wanted to see what this game was about. Judge me if you want to. This is a pretty good shooter though. You know, I'm going to live stream this game um, you know, I do have the demo <laughs> downloaded on my computer, so I will, I'll, I'll do maybe a live stream and then throw this on the end just so you guys can check it out. But anyway, Rumble Storm on the PC, pretty good shooter what I've played so far. So the next game I'm going to talk about is a game called Stella Venity, Prelude to the Destined Calamity. One hell of a name. Uh, development circle on this one is a circle called Feathered Ether. Never played any games that they made. Um, but, you know, if this is some of their work, I am interested to see other games that they come out with. Uh, the first thing that popped out about me, you know, popped out about me, popped out to me about this game is the similarities to games like Esprit, Epscaluda, and I was just talking about that with a game called Yakuga 6, which just does kind of remind me of Yakuga 6. This also has a little bit of hint of Eden's Ages. I don't know if you guys have played that Dojin shooter. That's a really good game. It has cave mechanics, uh, focus shot, spread shot. You should definitely check that one out. Um, I've live streamed that and done some videos about that game. So a little bit about Stella Vinity. Uh, it's playable in standard, portrait, and vertical modes. Um, you evolve your ship through seven stages of intense action. There's six levels of difficulty. There's two ship types. Um, there's the, or two types of equipment for your ship, I should say. There's the classic C gear for simple and quick attack and defense, or the S gear for those with a mastery of weapons. Uh, your character develops experience as you progress, increasing your stats and your health. Um, receive status rewards for in-game performance. Dominate harder, grow faster. Um, you know, I haven't played through all of this game yet, um, which is weird because it's a shooter, right? You can play through them in just a couple of minutes, but. You know, the, the last two games were good enough that I feel like I do need to share them with you guys. And uh, Stella Vinity, you know, awesome game. Has pretty good gameplay mechanics. Definitely check this one out. The last game that I'm going to talk about is not a shooter in the traditional sense. This is more of a game like Panorama Cotton or like the Space Harrier series. And as a matter of fact, if you look at the gameplay footage, which is awesome, this looks like a mix of Panorama Cotton and Space Harrier, which is kind of funny. But anyway, this game is called Space uh, Mariser. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Uh, this is a Toho parody game. 
Um, so the story behind this game is Marisa's mini Hakira was stolen, so off she is to catch the thief. Uh, this has 20 different Toho characters, playable characters in this game, which is kind of weird for a, a shooter, right? Seems like it'd be a fighting game. So the Toho games and the development circles behind them, they're kind of like, um, the best way I could describe them would be like Plantain Despise a Teeth, and that's a, uh, a development circle. They did uh, Bunny Must Die, Chelsea, and the Seven Devils, Gun Demoniums. Um, both of those games were actually released uh, through limited run games. And, oh no, strictly limited games. Sorry about that, strictly limited games. Um, you do see some of the Toho games actually get PS4 ports, um, you know, Switch ports. Um, and again, you know, just like I said with the strictly limited games, you do see some of those games released on consoles, which is pretty awesome. But the, there's a lot of similarities between companies like Plantine Dispositif and the development circle that uh, made games like this because, you know, with the Toho stuff, there's just so many different genres that they encompass. But anyway, enough about that. As you can see, again, I've probably said it 20 times by now, Panorama Cotton Space Harrier. This is an awesome game, totally fun. The graphics rock, um, you know, the sound's good, even though you can't hear any of the sound right now. Um, you know, I suggest you download this game and play it. Um, if you do some Google searches for this game, you can find it for free. Just, just look it up. You'll, you'll see the download links for it. Try it out. Yeah, I think this game rocks, you know. Again, this isn't a normal shooter. It's more like Space Hair, Hair Panorama Cotton, or dare I say Star Fox. Just a hint of Star Fox. You know, awesome game. Check it out, guys. I appreciate you watching this video. If you like awesome video games, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys like this video. You know, I thought these were pretty good shooters. I just wanted to share them with you guys. Till next time, peace out.